All right, so here's my hair before I decide to blow it out. It was really big. So I was like, let me try something different. So I watched a couple videos on YouTube and I tried it out. So I basically combed through the hair with my large petal brush that I got from Kaleidoscope. And then I just simply put the blow dryer over the hair and just kind of blow it out. And I was actually surprised. I didn't know how this was gonna turn out. So that's why you saw that look on my face. So I pretty much went and brushed the hair and I ran the blow dryer over it. It blew out really quick. It's not like doing regular hair, it was really quick. And I just did that all over my head. So here's a time lapse. And this hair is really rough, but it's Marley hair, so can't expect too much. But honey, when I tell you it mimics 4C hair, looks just like 4C hair. I was shook. So here at the front, when I was blow drying, I just made sure not to get my hair with the blow dryer because I wasn't sure that I was gonna blow dry my hair. So I just make sure you isolate it if you don't wanna put heat on your hair. And that took probably five minutes and I can tell the difference between the two. So I just went ahead and finished um, and I trimmed the ends cause the ends started getting really raggedy and straggly. So I cut a good bit off the ends. You, um, I didn't show at all, but I did cut a lot. So the distance was when I decided, okay, I need to do a couple passes between my hair. Um, and because my hair was already dry, it didn't take much to blow it out. And as you can see, it's pretty much blended, honey. So I was like, okay. So I decided to just um, do some twists on the side and pull them back. Mainly because this is something that I can with work because I try to keep my hair pulled back. So I was like, hmm, let me just do some cute little twists on the side and pull it back. So I won't have to be bothered with it. Next time I try this, because this was my first time, I'm gonna do my foundation twist way smaller. I did my twist way too big and juicy. So before I crochet next time, I'm gonna make sure my twists are smaller so I can do more um, styles, you know. So I had a mixture between my hair and the Marley hair in my twist. Then I brushed it back down to kind of get it all going in one way. And I had to hold my hair with my mouth to keep it out of the way. And then I just pulled the two twists back and I put a um, goodie band on it to secure them backwards. And I'm turning around and just see, like I said, this hair looks really coarse and kinky like my hair. my finished look I'm actually very happy excuse me if you can hear my dishwasher but I am very happy with this look you cannot tell me that this is not my 4C hair let me turn around like I am loving this let me come close Like, girl, my hair is popping. This is a protective style. Of course, I um, I did end up blowing my hair out in the front because that just made it um, made it blend better with the um, hair. This hair blew out extremely well. Um, the hair is, um, I mean, the hair feels coarse and kinky, but I mean, it's Marley hair. And it matches my hair to the teeth. So all my four C sisters out there, if you really want to protect and style your hair and have something that mimics your natural hair, get you some Marley hair, blow it out. Um, it blew out really easily because it's synthetic. So, girl, as soon as I was putting that um, blow dryer on this hair, it just 
it just blew out really easily. So yeah, um, I do have leave out in the back, but because I'm not using it for this style, I just have two twists. So I just moisturize my hair, twist it up. So until I wanna actually put my hair up, that can just be back there chilling, you know, with no manipulation. But I love this, highly recommend. I am so happy, like, this really made me happy. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video, bye. Bye.